Today is a topic that I'm sure a lot of collectors have issues with over the over the time period or whatever with collecting and I just think that I think it was just a perfect topic. I received something in the post and it just made me think yeah this is definitely one big one for collector problems. So this is collector problems number two. What's up YouTube? I'm Alpha Prime and welcome back to the channel. So usually when you receive parcels, this is sort of the standard for me anyway, when you're collecting stuff, a box generally with bubble wrap or those new air cushiony looking things, which I have none about. Yeah, I have none about at the minute, I don't think. You know, so you know, it becomes a little padded. The box is definitely firm, protects the figures, protects the boxes. I don't collect boxes, so that doesn't, you know, the box bit doesn't really matter to me if it comes with a wee dent or whatever that there. You know, as long as the figure is in good shape, I don't care if it comes in one of these boxes and backs out whenever it's getting packaged or in transit to the store, it becomes damaged itself, the box itself. That's, that's no big issue to me. Do not care, do not mind. Which is a good thing because, you know, one of my nephews got to one of the figures before I even got it. Uh, I think it was for my birthday or whatever. Got the got to the thing, ripped the package in. But I don't collect packaging, so it didn't bother me. But I just think that you know this should be the standard. And to most companies, to be fair, this is definitely the standard for packaging. But today I got a package and it just leaves a lot to be desired. So without further ado, let's see. A paper envelope. I haven't even opened this yet. I would have done an unboxing for this uh, this week, but I'm just so scared to see what I find, and I just wanted to make a topic on it. This, this is not for me. This is like scraping the bottom of the barrel for packaging. Uh, I'm not going to name the company that I got it for. I got the figure itself for a decent price, uh, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, it was one of the figures from the line. I don't collect the full line on this, but it was one of the figures that I did want. Uh, I think I got Grimlock, obvious reasons. But let's open this up. As you can, actually, just before we open it, as you can see here, there's a tear, there's a big glaring tear here, and I can already feel that this box is absolutely battered and bruised. And I don't know if you can hear that. Something is rattling in it. So, I mean, who's with me? Do you think that this is acceptable for sending out collectibles? Not in my books. So, let's do a little mini um, papering. It's not really unboxing, but. <clears throat> I mean, it's got a bubble wrap inside, but. As you'll see now, that does not protect it whenever it's getting thrown about. Now, it's not so much the delivery company's fault at this stage, especially when it's wrapped like this. I mean, this, this is the, this is the storage problem. So, I got Nightshade. Now, there's not a lot of oil transformers. That's what got me really interested in. I have watched Earthspark, and it's an all right story. It's not bad. It's a lot better than Transformers R.I.D. 2015. Just putting that out there. It's a lot better than that. But, I mean, look. Look at that. This is, I don't collect boxes, but if that would have came to me inside a brown box or whatever out there, then you knew that they maybe got it like that, but, and the fact there's something rattling about in there, and I hope it's a weapon or something out there, because I don't see any damage to the figure from what I can see, but that's just not acceptable. I mean, how, how do they know? They I could have been someone that collects it, an inbox collector, they send it out in that sort of packaging to me, I would be straight on the phone to them and tell them I am not happy and I want a refund. I'm not a box collector, as long as the figure's okay, I will be grand. But that's why I think this topic is definitely a thing. Ah. It's definitely a collector's problem, let's face it, because there is a lot of collectors out there that collect and keep the figures in package. It's not my preference, as you can see. 
but I do think that a lot of collectors that do keep it in package, I mean, you have to be able to package it properly to send it out to people if you're going to do these sort of collectible figures. We're going to break Nightshade out of the package in and see what they are like. I'm back and <coughs> back on the slims. Nightwing is in good shape. There's no damage, nothing like that there. So happy enough. Uh, I think what the rattling about was is the little instructions in the back. So that's that's all good. Happy days. I am happy. But bringing it back to the topic of this video, massive collector problem we have is some stores sending out collectible figures in a paper bag. And that's it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me hear about your stories. Did you ever get something? Maybe yours was actually broke. I was quite fortunate this time that there was nothing damaged on the actual figure itself. And I'm quite happy about that. But I know there has been people in the past that have had broken figures because the box has been battered, bruised, everything. And it just wasn't packaged properly. So let me hear your stories about damaged packaging and just the lack of proper packaging. Um, you can either comment below or do a video and then comment below and let me know that you've done a video and I will go and check it out. So until next time, guys, stay awesome.